The following is taken from Way of the Rope 2. For ropes and more rope flow tutorials, go to wayoftherope.com. The underhand sneak. And just like the overhand, there is one simple technique for learning this, one trick, and that's to do it with one hand. This will be the normal overhand motion. And what we want to do is flick it up and behind us and lead with the shoulder. You see how the shoulder leads as it comes back around. And then we put this into a dragon roll with the backhand in the underhand position of the dragon roll. And that's the underhand sneak. So we'll see here once again. This will be a normal one-handed overhanded rotation. But what we'll do is as it comes behind us, we flick it up behind us and lead with the shoulder, rotating the body. And it's the shoulder leading and the rotation of the body that gets it round and past. And we flick it down in front of us. Flick it up behind, rotate with the body, lead with the shoulder flick it bass and then we put this into the dragon roll make sure you practice this on both sides with both wrists then we put this into the dragon roll the sneak is what happens in the backhand when we're looking forwards so here I'm looking to the left and the sneak is the backhand the ropes in an underhand position and the left hand now behind me is sneaking the rope around and it's much better to practice this in the side-on stance and then we can build it to front-on. Once we've got it comfortable side-on, then we can start to do the undone sneak in this fashion, which is good for running optimization and athleticism. Timing the heel drive with the pump of the arms. And that's the undone sneak. <laughs> 